it's a coming of age story for teens, but it's also a coming of age story for older women. Hey, I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. I'm Mickey. Is she your girlfriend? No, no. I'm going to take this dumpster. Hello, Constance. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. How about yourself? I'm good. Very good. I love your background. Um, oh. I'd like to start my interviews by uh, knowing your journey, like how you got to where you are and how you started. Oh, my God. If you're using yourself. Do you, do you, I know, do you have like a month? Do you have like a, do you have a lot of time? You only have six minutes. I know. Briefly. It was uh, I mean, briefly, um, I realized I wanted to be an actor. I was a senior in high school and then tried too late to get into some great schools, got into the American Academy of Performing Arts uh, here in Los Angeles and um started my journey of studying with Stella Adler and um and then just dove in jumped in um started working after probably a good 5 years of trying and then i can say very gratefully i haven't stopped so um the journey has been hard and rigorous but very rewarding that's uh, that's uh, that's amazing because a lot of actors have different stories. You know, some of them we we get to know them very well through their journey. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about your background? I'm just curious. My background. Well, I'm trying to hide some of it so it's not too distracting. But um, there's pretty. a there's a picture of Betty Davis up here, who I love and admire, and um, that was taken shortly before she passed. And then I've got some art from my daughter and um, a Bob's Burger Archer crossover because we're obsessed with Bob's Burgers in my house. I got Muhammad Ali. I've got a piece of art up here that says, hey, lady, I don't know who you are <laughs> because that is that's my trajectory in life that everybody always says they know me, but they don't know how they know me. So that's kind yeah. of but. But it just, look, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, it goes the whole wall and oh. it's everything from, you know, posters from TV shows I've done, the first play I ever did, um, some fan art that was made for Unreal, um, when we made it into the New Yorker for Unreal, you know, I just try and surround myself with a lot of good memories so that even when the times are bad, I can remember that it can be really good. See, that's how we get to know you. Uh huh. I love your well, your your daughter's an artist. Yes, she is. She's a, a visual artist, painter, drawer. She's very, very talented. Constance, so I know you went to Monte Carlo Festival and everything. It looks amazing. It uh, was incredible. Talk to me about this project and how special this is for you. And if there's a message that you personally gained from it that you would like to share that you resonate with? Um, well, there's, it's, it's interesting. There's quite a few stories that I resonate with, but I, I will pick one because I know we don't have a lot of time. And I think for me, the, the coolest thing is that it's a coming of age story for teens, but it's also a coming of age story for older women. And that I didn't really see coming until I was in it. And the realization that we're all trying to figure out who we are at all different stages of our life. And sometimes really horrible things happen and it makes you look at your life in a different way. And you can choose to make those changes or not make those changes. And so I think that on this show, even though it's a thriller and it's, uh, and it's, um, you know, mysterious and there's a lot of crazy characters mm -hmm. that there's also that underneath is, is interesting to me because I don't think we get to see that touched on very often, especially in a, a YA show that two different generations are kind of struggling with the same thing, which is trying to figure out who they are and where they belong. 
That's I love the, I love the way that you explain explain that. I'm gonna get <laughs> to see that through the series. I watched three episodes and I really like it. Well, you saw that you saw the tip of the iceberg in three yeah. as far as uh, Shira's um, journey is going to be. It's uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Constance, thank you for sharing your journey with us, and I love that I got to know you better. Oh, thank you. Yes. Cuídate. Take care. Uh, adios. Adios. Gracias.